because of COVID. Let me tell you folks, never had a half sentence ever been so heavily laden with poor excuses. Boy, oh boy, if you wanna kick the tires and light the fires on this guy, say because of COVID and just use that as an excuse. The other one that really got me fired up yesterday was during COVID or during these COVID times, like this is some type of era that defines our ability to accomplish anything. So I'm here today, folks, to tell you to stop accepting the coronavirus as, uh, as a valid excuse for a lack of accomplishment. There is absolutely no reason. It doesn't matter if you believe in it or don't believe in it, or if you think it was planted, or if you think it's organic, or, or you know, if you're red or blue, or what side of the political spectrum you sit on, it doesn't matter. It's here. We have to deal with it. And you have two choices. You can either get on with life and make shit happen, or you can wallow in the cesspit of excuses. Where am I? The pit of despair. Don't even think. <coughs> so now what I want to do today, if you haven't figured this out already, is encourage you to find new and unconventional ways to allow life to occur. Now, what I mean by life occurring, what I mean is the world stopped turning for a lot of people back in like March of last year, or in some cases, maybe even earlier than that. And we've really handcuffed and handicapped ourselves to a point where we just can't see a path forward. And that's absolutely tragic, it really is. So here, here you're on the cusp, you know, the world is changing, it's undeniable. Uh, the United States, there was some, some drama there yesterday. I haven't watched the news yet this morning to see how it's all unfolded, but the, the United States pretty much ate itself from the inside out uh, yesterday. And again, you know, just that's the whole political side of things. People trusting or, or not trusting in some cases in government to literally control every aspect of their life. And that's not liberty. That's not personal sovereignty at all. Anyways, there are certain things, of course, that you're probably not able to do because of restrictions that certain governments have put in place to control the spread of the coronavirus. But that does not mean that we should use it as a crutch. It does not mean that uh, that should be our reasoning for getting into the cheesies and never having left the couch. What it means is that uh, we, we need to make a personal choice about how we're going to deal with this thing. And again, I, I would strongly advocate and recommend that means you look at things like your food security, your personal health, and control of your wealth. So you'll probably know uh, when I talk about personal wealth and, and personal health and food security and all this stuff is I'm, I'm not talking about cash money. I'm not talking about the paper, the tin, that stuff. You know, honestly, you can print and mint and, and have more and more and more of it until it's worth absolutely nothing, which we've already seen in, in many world governments. So that's not what I'm talking about. What I am talking about is uh, enriching your soil conditions, not chemically, naturally. Uh, I am talking about raising the best possible animals, the food sources you possibly can. And I am talking about getting out of bed in the morning, going for a walk, getting some exercise, breathing the air, these are the things, health, wealth, and food security. If you focus on those three things and shut the damn news off, you're probably gonna lead a pretty happy life. Okay, so what I wanna know is, what are you doing on your farm, your homestead that's unique, to build resilience and overcome the challenges that you faced since the whole coronavirus pandemic started? Let me know in the comments section below. While you're there, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. For now, I gotta let you go. I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow.